And uh, Tanglewood in this book is a small town in Maine, and the terror is this giant, one of my blowing fungus. And it's kind of hard to come up with, you know, books about identity and people who fought in the uh, Afghan war and, and say, well, my book's about a fungus. <laughs> but, uh, it's uh, it's going to be a little bit, I, I could not find a passage uh, tight enough uh, to read in, in the time allotted. So I'm just going to talk briefly of what I'm proud of with this book. And uh, I was inspired to write this book by H.P. Lovecraft. I was a big science fiction fan as a kid. And, uh, but what I like about the way the book turned out is that it ended up being a lot more science than fiction. Uh, the more I learned about fungi, which I never thought I'd write about, <laughs> the more I realized that these are really amazing organisms. And so the, the one in this book grows miles around. It's very invasive. It takes over this town. It's like a thousand years old. It glows in the dark. And all of that, you can actually find that exact fungus on Earth. So uh, I, I do stretch the truth a little bit towards the end, uh, but uh, most, of the, most of what feels like science fiction in here is actually science. Um, another, one, another aspect of the book I'm quite proud of, all of my books center on uh, family. That's always the heart of my books, especially brothers, fathers and sons, and that's true in this case. Uh, Eric, the protagonist, is a 13-year-old. He's a football player. He's kind of a combative kid, kind of a bully. But when his father leaves and he has to sort of take, rise into a position where he's taking care of his brother because his mom's always working, he kind of adopts this new sort of role that changes him quite significantly. And I really feel like that's the heart of the book because when you're coming a character, it's a different kind of manhood than what he's been used to watching professional football. But uh, I think this is the first book with really strong female characters in it. And so that's a third thing I'm proud of. I just began to realize you know, uh, after having written two books before this one, that the female characters were always a little flat, and that was because they were either moms or crushes, otherwise they didn't exist. And so I gave Eric a very good friend who is not romantic, <laughs> and, I, uh, and a couple of other friends uh, who are female, a couple of older women, uh, including one that I love, uh, who he thinks is a witch at first, and is my favorite character in this book. Her name is Howard. <laughs> For complicated reasons, and um, and then the, the setting is the fourth thing. I uh, at Fox they talked about moving around a lot. I was that kid. I was an Air Force brat, and I moved extensively as a child. And so setting is a huge thing for me in all of my books. All of my books actually are named after the places they take place, and uh, and so I lived in Maine for a couple of years, and I always wanted to set a book there. It's just the literary history of New England and. And then combined with the whole idea of being lost in the woods, which is uh, and the, how that plays into fairy tales and, and horror stories and everything. Uh, so I was happy to finally set a book in Maine, and I feel like I did it justice. Although nobody eats lobster or, or does any <laughs> big Minnesotans probably think of as Maine. Central Maine is different. And then uh, last but not least, because my favorite book is Charlotte's Web, and because this book was set in Maine, I knew I had to put a pig in it. <laughs> <laughs> and there is, in fact, a pig in it. So, so that's 10 Woods here. Yeah.